Hi, this is Katie from the Muscatine Art Center, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make a scribble painting. Uh, scribble painting is really easy, it's fun, you can get creative, you can take um, a long time or a little bit of time. Adults can do it, children can do it, uh, it's really fun. So what you will need is watercolor paper. That is the best thing that, that you could get because we are going to be using watercolors, but you could also use heavy paper like cardstock. Um, but watercolor paper really is the best. Then you need some pan watercolors and a paintbrush. And then of course a water dish. So you can do any size that you want. I've just done eight by 10, but you can go bigger, um, nine by 12. Oh, also one thing I forgot, you do also need a black crayon. Uh, if you have a black oil pastel, that will work a little bit better, but black crayons work just as well. So we, the start of this, we actually take our blank piece of paper and you take your black crayon or your oil pastel and you just start basically scribbling. You scribble all over. I started here in the corner and just start making scribbles in like big circles, big gestures like that. You want to make sure that your circles, that your lines uh, intersect with one another because every time they intersect, that's going to be a little cell that you can color in. So make sure that you're just kind of going over and over again and that you have a lot of little areas where they intertwine because that's where you're going to be able to paint. So to finish up your scribbles here, you bring your line back to where you started. So it's like a never ending scribble. So I started up here and I went down here and did a bunch of scribbles there and then I ended back up here again. So when you're done with your scribbles, you just take your watercolor pan and anywhere that your lines intersect, anywhere that there's a closed little cell, that's where you want to paint. And there's no particular, um, you know, way you need to paint or anything like that. You just want to make sure you get some water into your watercolor pan there. You don't want to do, use too much water. It'll make your watercolors too runny, of course. You don't, uh, you want to use enough because if it gets too gummy, then it won't go on. You can experiment with, with mixing colors um, or just putting pure colors in each cell. That's kind of what I'm doing here. And as you'll notice, is that your watercolor doesn't really permeate the black line it's because water and oils don't mix, you know, the water and the wax don't mix. So a lot of times that's why it's, it's really fun to do, do painting where you have um, a waxy substance as kind of the ground and it doesn't let the watercolor go through. So this is kind of a very simple uh, way of, of showing that. So use any color you want. You can mix colors on your watercolor pan itself. See, I've mixed a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple, bring in a little bit of yellow over here, kind of gets like a gummy color. But you just paint it anywhere you want in your cells. So that's it. Uh, a fun thing to do is if you want to have a little speckled look to it while your watercolor is wet, you can sprinkle some salt on it and when it's dry you can you can rub it off. Uh, otherwise, you just have kind of a very simple uh, scribble painting. So there you go. I hope you'd enjoyed and uh, let us know if you've done it. Thank you.